Okay, so how do you know if you have an autoimmune disorder if you're not just told you do? Well, my opinion, the slides here, it's never really this obvious uh, to most physicians because most people, at least in the United States, aren't getting this far in the disease process, okay? The top is a Hashimoto's thyroiditis, so, so the thyroid is just blown up from the autoimmune attack. The middle picture is rheumatoid hand, okay? So the joints of the hand have just been completely obliterated by the rheumatoid arthritis. And then the picture of the face with a rash, that is a malar or butterfly rash, which is classically associated with lup lupus. Usually we catch people before this and get them treated. Um, but those are the dramatic symptoms. Most people with autoimmune have sort of long-term symptoms. It's been unexplained. Most physicians can't figure out what's going on. They have multiple things going on in multiple different body parts. Nothing seems to match. It's all over the place. All of the di basic diagnostics like the CBC and the CMP have been normal or negative. Nothing's really showing up. Most of these people tend to have sleep disorders. A lot of them will have mood disorders as well. Weight can be variable, but obesity makes things worse. And then most of these people will have fatigue. So you just generally have malaise, you're tired, you have no energy. All of these disparate, vague, weird symptoms you could imagine would be hard for a physician to piece together. In my opinion, a lot of female patients, particularly if they're overweight, present to a doctor with these complaints they're often sort of just pushed aside, I think, and ignored uh, and just told to go exercise and lose weight uh, without anybody really diving into it to see if there's a unifying theory that might bring all of these symptoms together.